Hi guys, um, so I'm just doing a quick video today. I got some requests um, asking what I put in and how I did my vegetable stir fry um, and also um, kind of like what um, what seasoning or what I used because um, they didn't want to use I guess the regular type of seasoning that goes into a stir fry if it's too salty or whatever so I'm just going to tell you kind of what vegetables I put in um, and that's it so uh, tomorrow I'm going to be doing my weight loss update uh, but this video is not about that it's just about um, kind of what ingredients go into that vegetable stir fry so uh, let me just quickly take a look because I'm pretty sure that was it um, that I got a request for give me one second Oh, and then how to cook um, the spaghetti squash also. So, okay, so just to get started, um, I wrote down what I put in my vegetable just because, I don't know, you guys can put whatever you want, but I kind of just put the veggies that I like. So what I put um, in this one, that the picture that you saw, was zucchini, broccoli, carrots, celery, cauliflower, uh, mushrooms, uh, onion, garlic and mixed peppers so obviously you have to put some before others because I mean for me I kind of like my peppers a little bit crunchy I don't want them soggy um, and the broccoli the carrots that would kind of have to go um, first just because those take kind of longer to cook especially the carrots um, zucchini is pretty fast so I wouldn't put that first first um, Okay, so what I do is um, I drizzle a little bit of um, uh, olive oil into my pan and then I put garlic. So I cut up the garlic really um, small and then I put the garlic, then I put the onion um, and then I would probably put my broccoli and my cauliflower, um, celery, mushrooms, um, are last zucchini would be second last and peppers as well so just put it in like I mean I do um, my carrots and my broccoli and cauliflower and then I actually take that out and then cook the rest and then mix it all together you guys can put everything together like it's just preference of what you like crunchy and what you don't so that's just how I do it um, I guess the most important part is the seasoning so what I actually use is this so it's oyster sauce um, so don't put any salt um, I put a little bit of pepper but you don't even have to put that I don't put any salt because the oyster sauce is gonna make up for that so make sure you're not putting salt because you don't want too much sodium um, in your vegetable stir-fry so what I use is this oyster sauce and I just got this at Walmart as well um, and it's this one so you guys can see if that will zoom in okay um, and it's premium oyster sauce that's what it says there okay I don't know if you guys can see that but this is what it looks like just look for that picture um, and it's good all you're using is a, a tablespoon so don't put like the whole jar like I bought I've used this a couple times and it's only to here so don't go crazy and put this in um, it's just to give it a little bit that sodium it gives it a really really good taste so that and then just a couple like of squirts or whatever, um, shake this into the stir fry, just soya sauce. Um, and this is the reduced sodium. So I buy the reduced sodium. It says there from Walmart again. I mean, you can buy it anywhere. Um, but yeah, so I use this and this. Um, pepper, if you want. You could even put vegetable spices in, but I don't do all that. I just do this and this. And it's delicious. Um, and yeah, and all those veggies. So you can add any veggies you like. You can even take some out that I've mentioned if you don't like it. Um, but it's good. Also, that's just the vegetable stir fry. You can add your protein in there. So if you want to add chicken um, or stew, you can add that as well, like stew beef. Um, but I just did that because I was having my soup on the side and my soup already had chicken in it. So um, yeah, that's pretty much the vegetable stir fry. Now for the spaghetti squash, um, what you can do is, all you have to do is you buy the spaghetti squash, so it's the yellow ones. And I learned this from another YouTuber, so that's how I did it. There's probably other ways, but this is how I did it. Um, 
you put it in like a microwave bowl and you put it in, you put it in for six minutes. Take it out, turn it, and put it in for another six minutes. Once the top gets like squishy and you can actually push, remember it's going in for six minutes, so make sure you wear like um, oven gloves to take it out. Um, but once the top is squishy, kind of, um, that means it's ready. So I think I put it in for three intervals of six minutes, um, just flipping it. And then all you do is take it out, you're gonna cut it in half. Mine had seeds in it. I don't know if everyone has seeds. Like when the girl showed it on YouTube, hers didn't have seeds. So I don't know if you can buy seedless or whatever, but mine has seeds in it. So um, I learned this the hard way because I was trying to get the spaghetti off the spaghetti squash. Um, and I had to like pick a seed out at a time. So don't do that. What you do, because I did it better for on the second half, is get a spoon and gently just take out the middle part where it has the seeds don't worry if you think you're taking out like the spaghetti portion of it you won't it's the sides that have the most like spaghetti squash so if it's does it's not already um all apart just take a fork and then just scrape all the sides that's going to give you so much spaghetti squash it's unbelievable so i made it just the other day and i still have a full container um, left so I had it for lunch I had it for dinner then I had I think I'm gonna take it for lunch again tomorrow um, and then with that obviously just your meatballs um, I just put I just used extra lean ground beef peppers and onions um, an egg made into a meatball and then I just put regular spaghetti sauce obviously not the whole thing just a little bit and I even put a little bit of water in it to dilute the sodium a bit um, but it's delicious you guys it's so so good so if you guys want to try it please do so i always stayed away from spaghetti squash just because i thought it was so hard to do not at all and it's so inexpensive um so it's a really good thing to try and it's healthy so um that's kind of what i wanted to kind of go quickly sorry if you guys really didn't want to hear um about kind of the recipes um, I should have said this in the beginning, you should have just fast forwarded the whole, or not even looked at this video, but this video was mostly for the people that requested it, because um, they kind of wanted to know how it was done. So, um, there you go, hopefully it helps you guys, um, and yeah, just keep asking me more questions, because um, you guys asked, and then I gave you um, a couple tips and shared this video with you. So, ask me any questions you guys want, share your comments, give me feedback. Um, and I will see you guys tomorrow because that's when I'll be doing my weight loss update um, and hopefully it's a good one. Okay, bye